The skies above the United States conceal a range of mysterious classified aircraft projects and prototypes. For decades, secretive aviation developments have captured public fascination while leaving people puzzled about their true capabilities. Several aerospace hotspots exist where many of these aircraft likely originated. One prime location is California's Antelope Valley, nestled between the cities of Palmdale and Lancaster. This valley houses numerous military bases and contractors, including Lockheed Martin's famous named Skunk Works Advanced Projects Division. Companies like Boeing, Northrop Grumman, and NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center also operate facilities there. With so many luminaries of the defense aerospace industry centralized in one spot, it's no wonder Antelope Valley has birthed many exotic aviation accomplishments. TR-3, A Black Manta, the TR-3, a Black Manta, a secretive hypersonic reconnaissance aircraft, has been a subject of speculation due to its purported cutting-edge technologies. Believed to have emerged from the Antelope Valley region, it is rumored to have advanced features that set it apart from conventional aircraft. The TR-3A is said to utilize a revolutionary propulsion system based on a high-pressure mercury plasma setup. This system, fueled by nuclear energy, generates plasma pressurized to an extraordinary 250,000 atmospheres at a temperature of 150 Kelvin. This plasma is then accelerated to an astonishing 50,000 revolutions per minute, creating a superconducting plasma that allegedly manipulates gravity, resulting in an almost complete anti-gravity field around the aircraft. This configuration is speculated to reduce the craft's weight by an astounding 89%. Its surfaces are coated with a specialized polymer equipped with radio observation capabilities. This coating, combined with advanced electric electronic recognition systems allows the aircraft to manipulate its radar appearance. Reports suggest that the TR-3A Black Manta played a significant role during Operation Desert Storm by assisting stealth F-117 Nighthawk bombers. Its alleged function was to provide covert laser targeting, enhancing the precision of laser-guided bomb deliveries. The TR-3A is credited with several advanced technologies, some of which were considered science fiction at the time. These include powerful long-range combat lasers, the ability to manipulate climate conditions within a specific radius, and the integration of extraterrestrial technologies acquired by authorities following UFO incidents worldwide. Contrary to being confined to the US, sightings of triangular objects resembling the Black Manta were reported in Belgium during the early 1990s. These sightings, often mistaken for UFOs, suggest that the Black Manta may have been involved in international operations or testing. The TR-3B the TR-3B, often at the center of speculative and fantastical claims, has garnered attention for purportedly employing advanced technologies, including the use of alien UFO technology recovered from crash sites to achieve anti-gravity flight. While these theories are unproven and highly speculative, there are certain factors that have contributed to the intrigue surrounding the TR-3B. The most sensational claims about the TR-3B suggest that it is powered by a reverse-engineered anti-gravity drive supposedly derived from crashed alien spacecraft. Proponents of these theories often cite unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP, and the notion that breakthroughs in propulsion systems are not of earthly origin. Recent attention has been drawn to the exotic propulsion patents filed by Dr. Salvatore Pais for the US Navy. These patents cover a range of topics, including craft using an inertial mass reduction device. Some theorists point to historical programs like Operation Paperclip, where the US absorbed German scientists and engineers after World War II as potential sources of radical technologies. Despite the elaborate stories and speculative connections, concrete evidence supporting the existence of secret anti-gravity craft remains elusive. While the concept of anti-gravity propulsion is often associated with science fiction, theoretical discussions within the scientific community explore the feasibility of such technologies. Some suggest that the speculative narratives surrounding advanced and exotic technologies, including those related to the TR-3B, may serve various purposes. F-117 Nighthawk the F-117 Nighthawk, a pioneering stealth fighter bomber developed by Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, emerged as one of the most iconic classified projects during the 1970s and 80s. The level of secrecy surrounding the Nighthawk was so extreme that even high-ranking officials within the US government were unaware of its existence for many years. The Nighthawk's development was conducted under utmost secrecy at Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works facility. The angular design and stealth capabilities of the aircraft 
aircraft were groundbreaking at the time, leading to a classification level that exceeded even the knowledge of some high-ranking US officials. Due to the secrecy surrounding the F-117, rumors circulated that plastic model kits sold to the public depicting fictional aircraft like the F-19 were actually based on the real Nighthawk. The extreme secrecy associated with the Nighthawk also led to speculation that leaked photos of unidentified aircraft, often attributed to the mysterious Area 51 base, might have depicted the classified stealth fighter. Area 51 became a focal point for conspiracy theories and alleged extraterrestrial technology, adding to the intrigue surrounding the Nighthawk. The veil of secrecy surrounding the F-117 was lifted in 1988 when the aircraft was publicly unveiled. The distinctive angular shape of the Nighthawk, optimized for stealth, became widely known. The true capabilities of the F-117 were demonstrated during Operation Desert Storm in 1991, where the Nighthawk played a crucial role. Its unprecedented stealth allowed it to carry out precise strikes against heavily defended targets with minimal risk of detection. In 1999, during the NATO campaign in Kosovo, a Nighthawk was lost over Yugoslavia. This incident provided China with an opportunity to acquire wreckage from the downed aircraft. China actively sought to study the stealth technology employed in the F-117, potentially gaining insights into its design and capabilities. RQ-170 Sentinel Drone The RQ-170 Sentinel Drone, known colloquially as the Beast of Kandahar, stands as a recent example of a highly classified and secretive unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, developed by Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works. This surveillance and reconnaissance drone has garnered attention for its unique flying wing shape, designed to minimize radar detection. The RQ-170 Sentinel features a distinctive flying wing design, which contributes to its low radar cross-section and enhanced stealth capabilities. Nicknamed the Beast of Kandahar, after being spotted at an Afghan airbase, its purpose primarily revolves around intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, missions. Concrete information about the RQ-170 Sentinel remains scarce, owing to the classified nature of the project. The details of its specifications, capabilities, and operational history History are closely guarded secrets, highlighting the level of secrecy surrounding advanced military drones. While specific operational details are not publicly disclosed, it is believed that the Sentinel has been employed in monitoring high-profile targets. There are indications that it may have played a role in intelligence-gathering missions, including surveillance of locations such as Osama bin Laden's compound. One notable incident associated with the RQ-170 Sentinel occurred in 2011 when Iran claimed to have hacked and captured a drone that had allegedly strayed over its borders. The US contested Iran's account, attributing the capture to signal jamming, which led to the drone landing due to a loss of communication with its control. Despite the limited information available, sightings of upgraded variants of the Sentinel with enhanced sensors persist. The Bird of Prey The Bird of Prey a joint effort by Boeing and McDonnell Douglas in the 90s was a groundbreaking project in stealth aircraft development. Its main aim was to show that we could make a stealth plane affordably using cutting-edge computer modeling. They wanted to highlight the power of digital design and simulation over the traditional trial-and-error approach. The focus was on using emerging computer modeling tech to make the design process more efficient and reduce costs linked with physical testing. Unlike trying to break performance records, the Bird of Prey's core mission was proving that a cost-effective stealth aircraft could be a reality. By embracing advanced computer-aided design, CAD, and simulation tools, they wanted to demonstrate that a stealthy, single-seat aircraft could be built economically without compromising key features. Now, let's talk about its distinctive look. The Bird of Prey's design was pretty unconventional, resembling a Klingon spaceship from Star Trek. This unique shape was a result of the digital modeling process, emphasizing stealth. The surfaces were carefully aligned to minimize radar cross-section, enhancing its overall stealth profile, keeping things simple and cost-effective. The Bird of Prey was designed as a single-seat aircraft. And guess what? You can actually see this aircraft today at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force in Ohio. It's become a piece of history, showcasing a shift in aerospace engineering practices. In a nutshell, the Bird of Prey project was a game-changer in stealth aircraft development. By putting digital design 
design and simulation at the forefront, it not only achieved its goal of making an affordable stealth aircraft, but also played a role in transforming how we approach aerospace engineering. Now it proudly stands as a unique exhibit, telling its story at the National Museum of the US Air Force, the Aurora. The Aurora, an elusive and mysterious aircraft, is said to be a black triangle type distinct from the TR-3A Black Manta. During the 1990s, it was rumored to be capable of reaching altitudes up to 135,000 feet, cruising around 90,000 feet while achieving remarkable speeds. The propulsion system speculated for the Aurora involved either a ramjet scramjet or a unique pulse wave detonation engine. The Aurora's propulsion system was a subject of speculation. It was believed to utilize either a a ramjet scramjet or a pulse wave detonation engine. The latter involved small fuel detonations for propulsion, creating a distinctive contrail resembling a ring of donuts. The aircraft was rumored to reach a top altitude of 135,000 feet, cruising around 90,000 feet during its missions. The primary mission attributed to the Aurora was espionage. It was suggested to bridge the gap between spy satellites and slower aircraft or drones, operating either autonomously or with one or two pilots. Limited information has made it challenging to confirm these details. The details surrounding the Aurora remain shrouded in secrecy, and some argue that the name Aurora might have referred to the B-2 stealth bomber program rather than a distinct aircraft. The US government has maintained that evidence supporting the existence of the Aurora is circumstantial or speculative. Experts believe that technological advancements may have caught up with the ambitious goals of the Aurora program. The idea persists that despite limited evidence, the Aurora plane may still be operational or have influenced subsequent developments in aerospace technology. What's next? While definitive proof remains elusive for some of the more far-fetched theories, there's no doubt that behind the scenes, breakthrough engineering and bold innovation are pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the skies. New materials, radical shaping techniques and advanced computer modeling allow remarkable aerodynamic feats to be achieved. But the true capabilities of many of these aircraft may stay veiled in secrecy for decades to come. The allure surrounding classified prototypes is understandable. These remarkable accomplishments in engineering captured our imagination, but they also serve the solemn purpose of keeping our nation safe in an unstable world. The tireless work of brilliant minds in the shadows advances technology for the greater good, and with an eye to the future, they plunge ahead into the vast unknown. Who knows what astonishing aviation marvels they may unveil next. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts on these aircraft mysteries in the comments section below. Until next time, keep looking at the skies and I'll see you in the next video.